You can access the entire episode now on our website, ForbiddenKnowledge.news, Rockfin, Rumble, and all podcast platforms. For me, it started out with meditative experiences, plant medicines, then the awareness, remembering things about who I am in a soul level and then becoming aware of things, the energies that surround me, the synchronicities that lead me a certain direction. And then it's the belief that I can actually change the future or manifest something or create something just because I'm here and, and I'm in a level of control of our reality, right? <laughs> Yay! Yeah! That's, yeah, lucid living, you know, that's, that's, that's the whole idea. Like, yeah. hey, wait a minute, where, where does this, where does this stop and start? You know, and once you get people in your life, your friends, your community, your audience to ride with you, then everything is possible. Like we're starting to see that, that it, it is, it, we go back to the Maharishi effect where we say, okay, so the more people that are, you know, that understand this and are willing to play, the more you can do. I I don't think I answered the spoon bending thing. What, what was your question? Well, I, I do want to get back to the spoon bending. There's so much I want to get to though. <laughs> I know but it. as this pertains to spoon bending, this ability to shape our reality. How can we relate this to spoon bending and help the audience understand a little bit with a simple object? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, these are, uh, you know, this is, <laughs> these are, you know, like trophies, like physical proof that we create our reality. And, and I didn't bring them in, but like, <laughs> there's a new experiment we're doing that's just like out of control. So every time I go to a restaurant now, the fork is already bent and we have <laughs> over like 45. <laughs> so it's like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm not even putting my attention on it. It's like either there's cooperation from beings on the other side, or I've created a strong enough belief that every time I go to a restaurant, the fork is bent and it delights me. And so it works, you know, so it's just like, I don't exactly know what's going on. And that's what gets me up in the morning is this curiosity going, what's going on. But what happens is that you know, we, we do these spoon bedding. We're doing one on t Saturday morning. I'm going to give you a special invite to that. And it's 85 to 95 of the people bend. So it's not like you have to be chakras aligned, past life, you know, star seed, alien, <laughs> this, that, whatever, the force Jedi, this, no. It's actually not that way. And I, I was actually surprised too. So it's actually getting out of your mind. <laughs> so we call, we use a method that causes total chaos in the environment. So if, if there's kids, we let people have kids. If people have, you know, they, they can invite as many people to their house as they want. You know, we have people screaming, everyone unmutes on the, on the, on the Zoom so that there's all this stimulus. And after there's so much stimulus, you're just like, I can't take this anymore. And you stop thinking. And then you see someone that does it and then you do it. And you're like, what just happened? <laughs> and then your brain goes, what just happened? And then um, you, you know, like, then you have to incorporate it. Just like after plant medicine, you know, the next day you're going, oh, what? <laughs> so, it's really fun and um it's amazing how much our our rational conscious mind blocks everything in our life so you know you get a doctor that looks you in the eye and go you have three months to live Like, 
well, there's pictures all over Jack House, you know, website of people doing that. It's just conceptually, you think that it's harder. And it's not. It's nothing is so, so, I mean, I, a lot of questions get raised when we do this research. And one of them is why are kids better at this? So I don't know if they're more star seeds, you know, they're, they're more like these indigo children. They're, they're like, you know, they remember more their, what they're capable of. Maybe it's that they're not in their heads. They're not like thinking, what do I look like? What is it going to be bad if I don't bend? Like they don't have any performance anxiety. They don't care. It could be that they're in, they have easier access to their alpha and theta brain states because from zero to seven, you're in theta. You're in a quasi dream. You're in full programming. It could be that they're, um, you know, that they, that they don't know that they can't. You know, it's like the elephant that they chained to the tree can't move after a couple years because even when he's done chained, because he doesn't, you know, it's like they don't even know that they can't do it. Yeah. I mean, write in the comments what you think right now about that because it's i don't really know i don't really know i mean what do you think but it's it's definitely true i mean kids do hands-off bending and they're not even touching the spoon and the whole thing is one i thing. just think the level of program is isn't there we're programmed from the time we become aware to not believe in these things, to become plugged into the material world. And the more this occurs, I think the less of this connection we have to this force, to this energy, to this, this all-encompassing thing that really leads us to our next moment and we just lose touch with that, you know? Right, so, you know, what does that mean? The, 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 the entire, you know, LightNet platform and Starseed Academy is based on the four-minute mile, right? Nobody could run the four-minute mile. Not possible. The human body can't move that fast. Not possible, not possible, not possible. Then a guy does it and 2,000 people do it. So the kids, like you, what your, your theory on this is that they don't even know it's impossible. Right. And I think you're right. So, so but what does that say about us? And what does that say about us being pioneers? And what does that say about, you know, levitation? And what does that say? I mean, we have a levitation lab. It's like, what does that say about everything? So let's run in that direction and see what's possible. Mm -hmm. Now you talk about sprouting seeds in our hands, and I think this will help the audience understand a little bit how us as individuals can connect to this. Yeah, so some of the people that they can't figure out in their mind how to do the metal mm. for whatever reason they're blocked and sometimes we have to program them reprogram their mind using theta commands but some people just sprout the seeds so it's the same thing we put a mung bean in our hands and we say sprout 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 and then we command it and then we say let it go and then we just kind of think about something else and because if you think about it you and you're like why isn't this happening what's wrong with me you're literally like pulling yourself in the wrong direction right you're literally reverse man like why isn't that guy called is he gonna call me back <laughs> why have i done my job did they get my email that is li you are literally reverse manifesting everything that you actually want so you have to let it go and so a lot of people they're like something about them like doesn't connect with the metal or something or, or I don't know what happens but they sprout the seed and it's like this loving nurturing thing like please sprout come out <laughs> and it's also about your heart's desire so we talk about brain states and alpha states and flow states and theta states and delta states and gamma states right 